Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be creating the leveling system for the player. Um, at the moment, we just have it so that when you kill the enemy character, uh, he gives the player some XP. However, there's no leveling yet. Uh, so we're going to do that, and we're also going to add the experience right here on the top of the uh, player window, on the top left corner, so that you can see how much experience was gained. So, let's, let's get started. First thing we need to do is uh, hop into our first person character and we need to add two more variables. Both of them are floats. Oops. Float. Okay, first one I called level count. And then the second, I'll just duplicate that. We're gonna call level number. So, compile those, and the way that it's going to work is it's going to happen on the tick, tick event, if uh, the XP is greater than or equal to the level count, then we're going to increase it to the next um, to the next level. So what these variables actually are is um, the level number is going to be our actual level that the character is. So that's like level one, level two, level three, etc. The level count, that's going to stand for um, the amount of experience that it takes to increase to the next level. So in the beginning I, um, I actually have some presets for the level number we have level one in the default value. And for count, I said to start off where you need 50 experience to increase until level two. The rest of it is actually going to be, or uh, we're going to be calculating the next values. Um, you can preset how much experience the levels, but I found that this was actually a pretty good, um, pretty nice progressive system um, I was trying to base it similar to like the World of Warcraft system. Okay, so uh, next thing we're going to do is take the level count and the level number because we'll be actually manipulating these. We're going to make a plus one multiplier. Um, and then say if this is divided by the level number and we're going to take this one and multiply it by by the what we just what we just did over here um, and then also for over here we're going to make another one right here divide it by our divisor, with the plus one level. And then we're gonna take these values and add this to this. Now, to get this part here, there's really no, I, I didn't really have like a, a system of doing that part. I was just playing around with the numbers um, until I found one that was progressive enough and how how I wanted it to go with the difficulty. So level one is pretty easy. Level two, I think it takes like eight kills in order to get level two with with ten experience each, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so if you want something different, you can definitely go ahead and play around in with the math here. I would highly suggest putting the numbers into Excel and then looking to see how the levels progress. Okay, so. Um, Next, we need to set the level count to this. <clears throat> and then we're going to set the level number to that plus one that we had over here. Okay, so now it increases to the next level. 
Um, and if you want to see how this is going, uh, I actually have these things over here, which I will just paste. And um, you can just pump the count into this float and the number level into this one. This is using the build string. Um, so for those that are not familiar, what, the, what it does is it takes this and appends this part and then prints it out as a string function. And then all I'm doing is uh, taking this whole thing and appending it to level, which is the prefix, and the number. So you'll see it in a nice like one line type of thing, um, what we want. Then from here, just print string. Okay, so let's go ahead and just test this out. Um, I'm going to duplicate this. Now to duplicate easily in Unreal, if you select what you want, and then pr press and hold down Alt and drag, you can, dupl you can uh, duplicate that. So we have our four characters here. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on a second. Let's make some more enemy characters. Okay, this should be enough. 30, 40, 50. Now if you look there, see now we're at level 2. 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, that wasn't enough to get to the third level, but this type of thing, if we have uh, that enemy character auto-generate, um, we should be able to see the levels progress and further test it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. <clears throat> to do that, um, all I did was go to what's called a level the level blueprint, which is a blueprint that is not for like uh, a character and stuff, but for the actual level in general. So I'm going to add in a trigger volume. And go like this. Subtract. All right, uh, open the level blueprint. So we have this over here. And I'm just saying that When you begin the level, to uh, spawn an actor, the actor is going to be the uh, enemy character. The spawn point, we're going to get the uh, trigger volume location, which if you have it selected already, you can create a reference to it. So that's in the level. And then uh, get the actor location, and then we're going to say uh, get a random point in the radius, and just convert that to that. Everything else is fine, and then I'm going to be just setting it on a timer. So delay let's say every two seconds and then just loop it back. Um, this is like a quick and dirty loop function. Um, I actually suggest using a for loop or a while loop if you're doing if you want uh, actual like actual functionality that doesn't depend on just a looping if statement. This is quick and dirty. Okay, but you will see that when we hop in game Oh, <laughs> we need to add a uh, path system. So we need to go to nav, nav, nav mesh bounds volume. If you press P, you can see the navigation mesh generated. Navigation mesh is specific for um, like the AI and getting bots to work. But for what we have here, is we're trying to find <clears throat> an area in the nav mesh around that radius, so we actually need to create the nav mesh. 
press P to stop showing it. And there you go. So every two seconds it's going to generate a new one. And then we can see um, the levels. So there, I'm level two now. Then it, it even said it will take 125 XP to go to level three. And then now it says it will take 229 XP to go to the next the next level. As you can see here, 229 XP to go to level three or to go to level 4 actually. I'm currently level 3. Okay, so that is how you actually get the um, the experience that you gained to translate into the new level that you're achieving and that you currently have. So in the next one we'll be, we'll be uh, manipulating the HUD and uh, getting the XP to show up on the top left corner. So stay tuned!